Hattie, I am so proud to be here and be part of this virtual Christmas opera show. You are going to see some amazing talent that's just going to put you in the holiday spirit. I'm coming to you today all the way from Grinders Witch, Tennessee. We've been getting ready for Christmas here at Grinders Witch. They have the nativity scene set up downtown. I took a walk by it the other night. I was somewhat puzzled. The wise men, they're all wearing fireman helmets. So I went to the smartest person I know in town. That'd be the clerk at the quick stop. So I said to her, why are those wise men wearing fireman helmets? Well, she lit into me. Did I not know my Bible? I assured her that I do study my Bible, but I don't rightly remember any firemen at the nativity. Well, she pulled out her Bible and she stabbed her finger on a scripture there and she said, take a looky here. It says right here, three wise men came from a fire. Now that reminds me, the local fire department, they named their fire truck after me. That's quite an honor. Always ready, never taken. But I digested there. Let's get back to Christmas. Yes, here at Grinders Witch, we are getting ready for Christmas. We got big red bows on our hound dogs. I've been making Christmas decorations out of shotgun shells. And Uncle Nabob, why he's going to make his famous possum's Christmas stew. And we got our stockings all hung up there over the cook stove already. We're really hoping Santa will bring us big stuff this year. Because last year he brought us small stuff and it fell all through the holes in the stockings. Now, I went to visit Sandy Claus, and I told him, I said, I've been very good all year long. He said, that's probably just lack of opportunity. Now, I do hope that you've been writing your letters to Sandy Claus. I've been writing my letters to the Lonely Hearts Club. I sent a picture with this last letter, and they wrote me back, and they told me, we are not that lonely. Now, you might think it's kind of odd that a woman my age would still get so excited about Santa Claus. But my motto is, the minute you quit believing in Santa Claus, that's when you'll start getting underwear for Christmas. Now, I've also been given this whole idea of Santa a lot of thought. I'm beginning to think that Santa Claus must be a woman. We all know that men don't go Christmas shopping until 3 o'clock on Christmas Eve, and their idea of gift wrap is to put it under the tree in the bag they bought it at in PV Mart. And I believe if Santa was a man, all those reindeer would be shot, skinned out and gutted and laying on the back of the sleigh and Blitzen's horns would be hung over the fireplace. Even if Santa did get off the ground up there in the snow and the clouds, he wouldn't take a map, he'd get lost and he wouldn't ask for directions. Now we all know that Men never answer their mail. They wouldn't be caught dead wearing red velvet. The only time they think about stockings is when they see some young thing wearing them. And I heard that your prime minister, that he thinks he can cancel Christmas. I don't Quite, I thought he spelled his name J-U-S-T-I-N, not G-O-D. Who does he think he is? I heard him say that the wise men wouldn't be coming due to the travel ban, that those shepherds won't be leaving their flocks 
due to the swine flu. And that poor innkeeper, why, he had to close down due to lack of bookings and all the COVID restrictions. And now with the number restrictions, poor Santa Claus won't be able to use all his reindeer. And Rudolph, with that red nose, I believe he should be home self-isolating. Now, we all know that this is going to be a different Christmas, for sure. But I want you to remember to hold those you love close. And remember the reason for this season. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. And make sure you put out some hay for the reindeer.